there's been a problem with RPG kit games that I kind of want to talk about for a while now, but I haven't been, but didn't really think about much until I saw this, this post that someone made on my dev, developer Discord server, and it kind of wanted me to cause this discussion a bit and all that stuff. So for those who don't know, RPG kit games are, I, I would say, are games that were made with a base of an RPG kit, but somewhat have been modified into a form, basically. Um, I kind of feel like... Well, here's the thing. It's not bad if you made an, uh, your game with an RPG kit. Personally, I think everyone needs a start, and everyone needs a base to start off their project off. And you can modify as time goes on. And you've got in the end, many new come developers have used RPG kits in the past and consider using RPG kits there. But it's not like a necessary need, but it's more so of something that you can use as an optional base to use and uh, customize as time goes on. So, but there's a problem with RPG kits that have been that I thought go over recently. So, it's not that they're bad or anything, if anything, they're just, they're having, I've been seeing a lot of RPG kit games come up and come up, or I've seen a lot of RPG games use, like, Orion's RPG kit, EGI's RPG kit, yeah, EGI made an RPG kit, and, um, Arizona's RPG kit V2, so, um, a lot of RPG kit games have been popping up, and they've been making quite a lot of players, like, for example, take Divine RPG 2, it doesn't make players now, it's because not that many updates, but you got Rexall World, um, I believe some of our underrated RPG games too. But the problem with them have, have, that has been, there's been a problem with them recently that I feel like I want to talk about now, thinking about it. It's about them, it's about them being open source. And with that being, with them being open source, people are going to find loopholes and going to find ways to modify it. And maybe what I'm talking about, well, you remember the time when, um, you know, like, I'm gonna, so let's go back a bit, go back in 2022, 2021 RPG kits were blowing up. Drops RPG kit, Aeroscience RPG kit V1. Those kits were easily exploitable. And you may have seen this recently, but you may have seen, but that was all the way back in 2021, back in 2022. However, recently, um, Roblox introduced Bifron, which I think is like, there, which is basically a way to protect them against exploiting, and that was all Reese, and that was actually really good of them, which I personally think was helpful for them. However, though, here's the thing: they've recently been, they're actually they, they have, the exploiters on Roblox have come back, and they are back at it again with some more exploits. And personally, I don't find anything wrong with it as long as like you're not causing any harm to like the, as long as you're like, and personally, I don't find anything wrong with exploiting personally. Because, I mean, no matter what you're going to do, like, explorers are going to come and go everywhere you go. Like, where, like you find them on, you're going to find them on, like, games such as Minecraft. You know, games such as Minecraft, Fortnite, many are games. Roblox is none of those platforms that has explorers. That's, that's the norm, that's the norm here, honestly. And, sure, I mean, and recently, the reason why they have been popping up, Roblox explorers, exploiters, and executors have been blowing up as much recently was because of Bifron. Recently, there have been, there have actually been, and recently, it looks like we're seeing more ex explorers come back onto Roblox because um, someone actually was able to bypass Bifron, which I would be, which, which is honestly, which honestly, should I say now and come eventually. I mean, if it's a community, then of course, Bifron, no matter what you're going to do, is always going to have some sort of, has going to have some sort of, um, is always going to have some sort of weakness and stuff. And the explorers, uh, as a community, have been able to work on that. And personally, I mean, it's whatever, I guess. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I mean, that thing, I mean, people, I mean, if people are gonna find ways to do it, they'll find ways to do it. I mean, so, like, people are committed to do it, they're committed to it. And personally, I mean, go for them, but, oh well. But anyways, um, and I don't, I don't really support exploiting anyway. I mean, if you do want, if you want to have fun of exploiting, go with it. But as long as you're not really having, having fun, as long as, long as you're not really, like, ruining the fun of others with exploiting, personally, I don't find any issue with that, honestly. But the thing that exploiting really has, the thing about exploiting is that you can, is that, is stealing stuff. Um, and when it comes to exploiting, people use these things called, use these, I think, what's it called? It's like decompiling, they can decompile the scripts and use, like, they save instance stuff and they use it to on, on Roblox games and they claim it as their own. Um, well, yeah. And no, and not, and, and there's like no one that, there's no fix to this, honestly, unless Roblox play a part in it and, and de some of the code, but honestly, there's really nothing else to it. So that's why I'm saying that even if it was open, and that's why Roblox RPG kits have been really an open source for all, our open, open source RPG kits are kind of why many people don't really like RPG kit games because they can be easily exploitable and they just don't bring anything new to the table. 
Now, I will agree on the one thing though, um, personally, um, I mean, many people have their own experience. Um, personally, I have used RPG kits in the past to um, make a base of my own game. And I learned does use currently use Droplets kit. I've been able to modify it, um, made it, I've been able to modify it with their own, with its own, um, with like armors, um, mob types and all that stuff. Um, I know it's kind of, and, it, and all that code's kind of outdated, honestly. Like it's dated like all the way back in 2022, 2023. So yeah, Nightlorian does have a game. It kind of does, does have its own exploits and all that stuff, or does have its own weaknesses, back or exploited exploits and all that stuff. And personally, um, it's whatever. Honestly, I mean, what are you gonna do about it? I mean, so yeah. So you can't really do any do anything much about anything. I mean, you can prevent exploiters from. You can protect exploiters by simply. Um, by simply making remote serve by remote by checking the remotes and stuff but the thing I'm talking about here is that this is this is something that you're going to be expected as an RPG developer you're expected to find people who are going to take advantage of your game no matter what and I don't mean by like developing and stuff I mean like literally someone can probably take your game and that and that's and that's and I know it sucks and that's what sucks but you're going to have more people who like the game more than hate it um, in some way shape or form I mean, and no, it, having your work stolen sucks. I, I get that, and there's really nothing you can do, honestly, about it. I mean, people are gonna steal stuff, circumvent stuff, no matter what they do. That's just life for you. Life is going. Life, life is unfair. That's just how things are. Um, like that's. I think that's what happened to like Bloxor or Led, Fallen Souls, Night's Revenge. Like I think Lost Souls was originally. I, I couldn't remember, but I couldn't remember. But I think Lost Souls was stolen many times. I may have been on that in the past, and. That's the truth. The truth is, you're going to ha you're gonna stuff is gonna get stolen, and that's just how people are. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. At the end of the day, um, that's just it's really um it. So basically, um, so I was able to find um this glitch into my game, who was able to I believe I'm correct, cop move all the p move all of the games move all the mobs to their C frame, which is basically their position in the world. And was able to kill him. And personally, that is, it's whatever. I mean, the game, that's normal. I'm personally, I'm, I'm not really surprised by that because the game is really old and it deserves, and I feel like it needs a rework. I know, I mean, I've been kind of lazy with the rework too recently. I've just been with biz with college and learning more about development and, and all that stuff. Um, of course, things are just not going to go how things, some things are not meant to be like. Like I can send, like I'll, I'll I'll just put image on. I'll just put image of what they what they did. What the fuck was that? I have no problem with that. It's it's I'm not I. People are going. I mean, he did give us. A, he did he did say how to fix and stuff, which I will give him that. So I will give him credit for that, honestly. And personally, it's whatever. I mean, he get. I believe he did say like. um... Um, basically, if there's a, basically, if pay attention to the player's C frame, doesn't matter to change and made into the C frames, and back to the original C frame, which can be stored every second in the local variable, and yeah. So, credit to this guy, honestly. I mean, this guy has been, um, this guy did show us how to fix it, but it's actually a simple fix, not looking at it. It's just was, I really wasn't paying attention to it at the time, and I mean, hey, I mean, reflect and improve. That's all I can say. I mean, as a person, as a developer, you are, you're not, as a developer and of someone who wants to improve in developing, you're going to screw up from time to time. You're gonna, you're bound to find exploits. You're gonna find, you're gonna, you're bound to have someone who takes advantage. Of it. However, though, the way you can have a, the point of developing is to improve your skills as a whole. Reflect, predict, and improve your skills as a developer. That's just the life for you. I mean, that's basic knowledge. I mean, you gotta. I mean, if you don't want, I mean, if you want to improve as a developer, take criticism. I mean, I know criticism kind of sucks, but. If you want to improve your game, if you want to improve it as a whole, improve your game as a whole, then you're going to need to listen to the criticism and talk about what that you can do to improve it and stuff like that. Um, and this guy, um, and personally, back then I didn't really take criticism that well. It's, I know that criticism it wasn't for me wasn't bad, but when I looked into it, I was like, you know, back then they, and looking at it now, I was like, yeah, I can see, I, I can see now how I can improve this. I can improve this by doing this, that, that. Like for example, I, was, I released my game Galarov a couple days ago. Um, I got a couple of suggestions from my man, my mate Droplet. Um, Droplet did suggest me a couple things. Uh, he suggested me two things. Um, let's see, what was it called again? Let me take a look. Uh, he suggested me to add to um, 
he suggested me to put the weapon, um, um, balance, um, put, like, make all the weapons sellable, and the GUI color scheme make less harsh, basically, in other words, um, make it less greener. So, by the way, in case you guys wonder what game that was, what he was talking about, he was talking about Galraf, which was one of my most recent games I've released. Put a link to it down below in case you guys are curious. So, yeah, and that's used the Jaws Kit, which many people would have ex wouldn't have expected me to use, considering all these new ways on the past. But honestly, I mean, it's whatever. Honestly, I mean, people, I mean, I mean, I, I, I was suggested by it, and so someone suggested me to use it instead of Orange RPG Kit, and I guess I used it, and it went pretty well. So, yeah. Um, and I'll say one thing, Orient's RPG Kit does have a lot of stuff in it. The only problem with the kit is that it can be easily exploited and has a lot of weaknesses to it that can be used against it. For example, um, I believe I'm correct, someone did say the damage system in Orient's RPG Kit sucked. I am gonna point that out there right now. I think I've seen it and I can totally agree on that part since... Um, but I do know Orion is trying to improve his kit as a whole, make it a lot better for the whole user experience, and make it less, make it have less weaknesses, and make it be more harder to exploit. I mean, that's just RPGs and development for you. People are going to find exploits and are going to bound find exploits and all that stuff for you. I mean, that's that's lit, that's RPG, that's game development 101 for you if you're not going to take and all that stuff. I mean, the way you got, you got, and if you, way, how you handle criticism really depends on it. I mean, if you don't want to make those changes, I mean, it's whatever, but if you do want to make those changes, then you're going to have to make more, you're going to have to make more, um, you're going to have to make, you're going to have to make some changes to your RPG game if you want to do it. That's our, and when, as in today's world, people are going to be harsh on you, and, and I don't care if you're, and I and they probably don't, they don't care if you are you new to the development or not. You're going to have to learn how to take criticism light, like take criticism more, if you want to make an RPG game. And it doesn't mean that they hate the game or anything. If anything, they want to see you. If anything, I find I find I find RPG criticism as a compliment, honestly, because it I find because they're not going because it, just, it means that the game isn't. They're because they're trying to help you make the game more better, if you know what I'm saying. So, that's technically all I can say about that. I mean, I have had people criticize my game, Night Lordian, and Zapex, and many other games. And don't get wrong, those games couldn't better. I do know that. And um, that was, and I'm, at the time, my development skills weren't the best. And I'm still kind of trying, and like I said, I'm still trying to improve development as a whole. I mean, that's the truth for you. And everyone has, everyone, everyone is able to improve their skills on development. I mean, that's why um, I was kind of harsh on Winning Coast's recent, uh, on Winning Coast's game, Legend Pro Raven RPG, in my recent review that I've done on my Discord server. I was rough to him because I knew that he had potential, but he didn't, he had so many ideas, had so many potential ideas. But it, but the way he executed those ideas weren't the best. So... Yeah, I will say though his game is actually pretty cool. If he, if, but the, only, the game, the game, the ideas he has for his game are great. It's just the uh, ways he has you to like design and everything just didn't really sit too well with me. So, yeah. Anyway, this is a quick video just to go over what why I go over what's been happening recently. So, and uh, all that stuff. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want to polish or comment like this and all that stuff, then please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on bell on the channel. Be awesome, not miss you. And there's only posture coming in the future. And also, in case you guys are wondering what the sound was, it's currently thundering outside, and I might have to go. So, yeah. Um, have a good one, guys. And uh, hope you guys, hope you guys, but don't worry. But as, as many people always say, with every thundering storm, at the end of every thundering storm, there's always a light. Like, much like a tunnel, and all that stuff. Stay optimistic, guys, and uh, have a good one. Peace out.